I'm Molly Gold, home organization expert, and today we're talking about the five areas of your home that need to get organized for back to school. If you haven't heard about it, we've got a brand new back to school planner. It's a bundle of all the forms and worksheets you could possibly need to help you get organized for your best school year yet. And it starts off with a checklist that breaks everything down in a four week time frame. It's okay if you've already started school or you're a week out from school. It's really all about the content. It's all about the areas you need to be thinking of. And if you have gotten to that point where you're starting to get a little twitchy thinking, back to school, I've got to get organized. Here are the five spaces of your home that deserve your attention. Number one, your children's dressers and closets. You have to go through them anyway to inventory all of their clothing and see what they need, what they've grown out of, and what they've grown into. So you're gonna to wanna to take time to organize those well. Number two, you're going to want to organize the garage. I know that sounds absolutely crazy, but the fact of the matter is the pool's gonna be closing soon. You need to make way for all those cleats and those little cross sticks and who knows what else. You're gonna be flying in and out of there like a crazy woman, so it's time to get the garage organized. Number three, the pantry. The pantry matters because that's your launching pad for independence, both for breakfast, lunch, and after school snacks. So dedicate some time to go through that pantry. I know a pack of wild monkeys has been in there all summer long and get it back to school ready. Specific things that go into play there that are really worth your attention. Number four, you're going to want to make sure to go through that entryway. Just like the garage, it is its own revolving door, but the entryway needs decisions like, is it a drop zone? Does it really take care of coats? Can we, do we have enough hooks for backpacks? You get my drift. And then the final space, and this might sound really intriguing to you because it doesn't necessarily impact you, but it does your child immensely, that's the homework station. I don't care if it's your kitchen table, I don't care if it's the dining room table, maybe it's the ottoman in the family room. Wherever your child is gonna do homework, you need to dedicate some time to getting that space prepared and organized so that your child can study well and get the job done in the time that they need to. So, while you're getting ready for back to school, and I hope using your back to school bundle to make sure you're on track to do it well, I want you to think about those five areas of your home while you're getting organized. If you take time now to whip them into shape, you'll be amazed at the positive impact it'll have on your busy days. So tell me, what's your number one area of your home that needs your attention for back to school? I've given you the ideas of what I think is important, but where are you feeling is ground zero. Leave me a comment, let me know, and as always, thanks so much for stopping by. We sure hope that you enjoy our back to school content, and we'd love to see you back here letting us know exactly what you need to know more about. We'll see you soon.